What's up, everyone? This is Cody back with another audio tip for all you guys in the group. Uh, let's see. I'm going to show you how to forget about Ecamm and record your Skype calls directly into your software of choice. So no importing, exporting, converting, any of that stuff. It's going to record directly in while you're on Skype with your guest, and you can immediately start doing some editing, mixing, whatever you need to do as soon as you're done. So uh, make sure before you start, you have Soundflower installed on your computer. You will need that. So let's start off. Open your Finder window. We'll head to your Applications. And at the bottom, you should have a folder labeled Utilities. Let's open that and find Audio MIDI Setup. So in here, we're going to create an aggregate device. Hit the plus sign down at the bottom, Create Aggregate Device. And basically what you're doing is combining multiple audio sources into one new device that uh, you can use with Audacity or another software. Um, you should see all your options here on the right-hand side. Now, if you're using the Blue Yeti or an interface or a mixer, you should see that show up here um, and as well as Soundflower. So what we're going to do is select the input that you're using. So if you're talking into your Blue Yeti mic, make sure you have that selected. For my case, I'm going to use the built-in microphone and output and then also select Soundflower. And now you can see here in the middle, it's showing you what the input labels are for everything that you have added in here. And you can reorganize these if you want. You can move the different devices forward or backward. Um, take note of what it says here. So my built-in microphone is going to be input one and two of this new device that we created. And then Soundflower will be input three and four. So keep this window open or maybe jot that down so you don't forget. Okay, so we're done there. What we're going to do is head to Skype. Uh, your Skype menu at the top, you want to open the preferences pane and up at the very top, find the audio and video tab. So for your microphone, self-explanatory, set for whatever microphone you're using. Right now, I'll just keep it as the built-in. Ringing and speakers, this is how you hear your guest. And you can set this to Soundflower 2 channel. This volume bar should stay right in the middle. You shouldn't need to adjust it. Sometimes you might, but we'll just forget about that for now. So that's all you have to do for Skype. Get that out of the way. Last step is open Audacity or whatever software you're using to record. Audacity menu, preferences, devices. What you want to do is make sure that your playback and your recording are set to the new aggregate device that we've just made. Now this has four channels, so you want to make sure under your channels tab, you have all four selected. That way you can utilize all four that we made. Boom. Now you're ready to roll. So before you call your guest on Skype, I recommend having Audacity open. Go ahead and hit record. And let this be recording before you get on Skype. That way you record everything, every part of the conversation. You don't miss anything. And you can trim it down later when you're done. Um, one thing you want to be aware of, it will record in four separate mono tracks. Once you're done, Go ahead up here to the very first track, hit the top bar, and you have the option to make a stereo track. So basically what happens is Audacity will naturally record input one and two, which is your mic, separately. And then just go over here, click make stereo track, and now you have one track with your voice. And do the same with your guest track here. Boom, now you have two stereo tracks, and you can save, go start right into editing, mixing, mastering, whatever you need to do or export it and send it to your uh, to your podcast editor. So I hope this helps. Ecamm is definitely a handy tool when Skype, but to make things one step easier for yourself, you can get this set up, record your Skype conversation right into your software of choice, make things easier for yourself in post-production. So let me know if you have any questions, comment below, obviously ask uh, any other topics that you might have, and I'll try to get to as many of these throughout the week as I can. And until next time, enjoy guys.